Fishburne. This is Scott Penkelman. Uh, we're digital literacy innovation specialists for uh, the Free Library of Philadelphia and the Office of Innovation and Technology. Um, what we do most of the time is do uh, programming for the Free Library hotspots. And the hotspots are a computer network for, through the Free Library that uh, are placed in the underserved neighborhoods of Philadelphia. What we try to do with the programming is really um, touch on the needs of every individual site, but we, we really um, want to add that innovation, innovative element to it, and we really try to do things uh, with a te technological edge. Um, so a lot of times, as we, uh, as we push things out, we really try to uh, take that traditional method or the traditional learning of basic computers and uh, financial literacy. And we just try to add in things like digital apps for Android apps, iOS apps. Um, and we try to really um, give more of these people that don't normally have anything, uh, we try to give them more. And we try to give them things that they don't have access to. Uh, another big thing that we do is through our data collection. With, since the beginning of this program, we've had uh, a lots and lots of data but we usually didn't have any way to do anything with it. Uh, Scott has really taken a lot of time to take the data, refine it, and make it into something that we can really use moving forward. So I wanted to share, um, briefly, we have a, kind of an entirely human-generated system of tracking visitors to our computer lab, what they do, what time they show up, and uh, whether or not uh, they need help. We do it entirely through the cloud um, with the kind of ever-changing part-time staff that also are computer instructors. And um, then we visualize it here in a um, in, um, kind of data dashboard that updates as, um, as, we, as we add to, add to it. So um, one of the more interesting things um, we've tried to keep track of is what do people do when they come into a public computer lab? What do people who can't afford computers or internet at home come and do, and the answer is a lot of what everyone does. That's check their email, check social networks, and in our case, um, about one out of every five visitors is coming and looking for a job and um, applying for jobs online. So um, that's kind of helped us stay focused on one of our, our major tasks, which is helping Philadelphians who are trying to enter the workforce or re-enter the workforce, um, help make sure they have the technological tools to, to do it. Oh, um, and words. the sixth word thing, bringing new resources to underserved neighborhoods. Nice. 